Yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh, yeah, I came in with a saw. Yeah, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah, bitch, I flare red raw. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Viewers. Bringing you guys a brand new video, and as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get posters like I do with a few easy methods that I use for almost every single dunk I get, and also some other slasher tips that you might not know about. But if you're an OG sub, you probably have seen this video that I made last year exactly like this one, basically. Except when 2K17 first came out, it was super easy to get contact dunks, but this year they made it to where you can jump out of contact animation, so it's a lot harder to get now. But I've still found some easy methods to use in order to get those posters and also get them a lot more frequently. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So before you step on the court, you're going to want to make sure you only have contact dunk packages equipped and nothing else. You could have the under the basket ones like I do. I have the athletic flushes, but other than that, nothing else. No park dunks. Those are the worst ones, honestly, because when you have other dunk packages equipped, it decreases your chances of getting a contact dunk. So for that reason, only equip contact dunks. And this has been the same since 2K16 when I first found out from a subscriber. He messaged me saying it. And as soon as I took off all my other dunks, like the flashy ones, like the Vince Carter and the Tomahawks and 360s, I automatically saw the difference and haven't looked back since then. So yeah, that's the first tip I have for you guys. Also, you're going to want to make sure you have your post riser badge, at least on bronze. And if you can get it higher than that, do that. I promise you'll see so many more dunks. But for me, mine only goes to silver, sadly. So I'm just going to have to deal with that. But honestly, I still get as many dunks as I did. The only problem I have is people jump out of the animation. So... Let's segue into that topic of your defender jumping out of animations. So before I tell you guys how to get to the basket for the dunk, I'm going to tell you a tip that I found to be effective and actually pretty smart. So when the game first starts, whether it's on the twos or threes, this works better on twos, but have your big man near the paint so that his defender is under the goal. And for the first two times you drive, you're going to want to pass it out as soon as you get to the basket and not try to dunk on them. So what this is going to do, the defender in the paint should jump like most people do and after the second time of them jumping and realizing you're just going to pass it out every time they're not going to jump i promise you so on the third time that's when you body their ass and just keep doing it from there on out so basically just trick them the first few times into thinking you're not going to dunk it and then just surprise their ass so moving on to actually how to get past your defender easily in order for you to drive to get that dunk i'm going to tell you guys the top three ways that i use and that i found to be effective and it's really not even hard at all it's pretty simple and I'm surprised it still works every single time so my go-to move as you guys have named it is called the view it spin and this is basically just running to the corner step back spin and that's almost always an open lane for you to drive and I'll show you guys right here in this clip just run to any corner it actually works in any position in the court but the corner is the most effective because for some reason it just cheeses your guy past him but yeah it's super easy step back in the corner spin right afterwards below past your dude for the bang so yeah that's the first way i use second way is the left right cheese i'm sure a lot of you guys saw this back in 2k15 because this was super op and at the time noobs like me used it but in 2k16 to 17 they did a good job at patching it and not making it effective but this year it's so effective and i guess it's because the defense is a lot harder in this game and yeah basically you let go of the turbo and literally jog left right and those sudden movements are gonna get your guy to the rack i promise you see i just showed an example here it goes it literally just call for an iso or you could use a screen it doesn't matter but just walk left right or go right left it really doesn't matter and just once you see that opening and that space for you to drive and get that extra step on them, you use turbo right to the rim and there goes your dunk. So number three, actually the most effective way, this one and the view it's been are tied for me because this one is super, super effective on the fast breaks and actually in any circumstance. So it's the behind the back and I'm not sure what behind the back I have, but I'll show it up on the screen right now. And a lot of you guys asked for it because this one is so, so effective. And it's really easy to do. So basically, you're going to want to get really far from your defender if it's not a fast break. And once you're about this far away, hold your turbo and run straight towards your dude. And right when you get close to him, hit him with the behind the back. And I promise you, you're going to be open for the easy dunk. And I feel like this works best on fast breaks. So that's why I always do it then. But it's actually the same thing. And 
say you grab the rebound or you get the ball and you're taking it up the court full speed behind the back and he doesn't even know where you're at so yeah there goes your poster and it's that simple i promise you guys these dunks i get are not hard and i'm not any better than any of y'all it's just these simple methods that i use and these tips and i promise you guys you can get the same dunks i do if you just follow this but yeah guys that's basically it for this video hope you all enjoyed and if these tips helped you out please drop a like on the video and let me know in the comment section also if you're new to the channel and found this video helpful please drop a sub we're on the road to 100k and i have a bunch of banger videos i plan on making this month so if you guys haven't already please turn on notifications so you get alerted for when i post new videos and yeah also i hope you guys have been saving your clips because i will be doing top 10s again and look out for that video as well for more information on that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one